Hello all and welcome back to another episode of KPD Opal. Today in this episode we're going to be cutting this stone. It has an amazing colour in it. From the Vino field. It's been requested that I um, polish it. As you can see when the light goes over it, it goes and gets all muddled up. So we'll be sanding it down. And um, once sanded we'll get it polished. And we'll get a nice finished product I think. Let's get straight to sanding. When sanding, you always want to keep your thing, your sanding paper wet, cause the uh, um, the dust from opal, the silica from opal, can give you really bad problems, getting your lungs in, pos potentially kill you. So always have your um, sanding paper all wet, so it doesn't do any harm. And some opal miners don't um, sand opal, but in my case I have to since my polishing machine's getting old. Um, the wheels are all worn down and you can't really, um, you have to get the scratches out by sanding them. We start on a um, 240, then we'll go down to 500, 500, then we'll go to 1200, then we'll get it polished. And um, some miners, they um, sand the whole opal by hand, but some um, people just use a polishing machine the whole way through. I do half and half, since um, I get the bulk of it done on the machine, then just sand it down with a whip, then polish it on the machine as well. And yeah, that's... The story behind this stone, when I was mined, um, my dad was scraping the face with the excavator, and um, there's there's such thing, there's things called floaters in Kerberpedi. That's when, because the opal is lighter than the dirt, the opal is sitting there in the seam or something, and then it gets pushed up through the ground. And um, the old timers used to look for floaters on top of the surface, and if there's floaters there, they'll um mine there um so this was halfway up through the ground and he was scraping the face and this big rock like it was massive stone fell out the wall and so dad he was just wondering what it was so he went and had a look at it and he saw a bit of color in it so we took it back um to the dugout and he cleaned it up and we got a great big stone out of it had beautiful color and um now I'm cutting it up, well not cutting it up, but um, cleaning it up and polishing it. And it's just, I, this has a lot of sentimental value to this stone, so I don't think I'll ever sell it, but it is one great gem. So guys, here's the finished stone. Wow, I didn't realise, like this has the most amazing colour in it. Reds, all the colours. But the only thing is it's got a couple of imperfections. There's a bit of potch up in the top, but otherwise it's a great stone. Thank you for watching this episode of Opal, and hopefully see you in the next one.